Hello, this is Mark from Delmar's Music and Sound. Somebody had asked me about uh, speaker break-in. I've got a 12-inch, 50-watt speaker here. You get a new speaker sometimes. Um, the spider here, or the spider down here, is uh, very stiff. Uh, the edge around the ed um, rolled edge around it is very stiff. The suspension is stiff on the speaker, so when you're building a new amp, you got a new speaker, it can be very stiff. So... Best way to break it in, obviously, is to play the crap out of it. However, you can use a Variac, which is what I have over here. I'll swing that over here. It's a Variac. And there's a formula. You can take uh, the wattage of the speaker, you know, 50 watts, divide it by 3 to get about a third of the power. And uh, you multiply that by the ohm rating of the speaker, 8 ohms, 16 ohms, whatever it might be. And then you take the square root of that. That will give you a a safe watt or a safe voltage to put into the speaker um, at roughly a third power. Okay. So what I do is uh, this particular speaker happens to be a 50 watter. Um, divide it by three, multiply it by eight ohms. You get 133, and um, you take the square root of that, you get roughly 11 and a half volts. So you would set your Variac for 11 and a half volts. If you're looking at my voltmeter right there, you're going to see probably 124 line voltage. So I'm going to take it right down to about, we'll put it right at about 11 point, or let's just take 11.51 volts AC, okay? Um, what you do at that point is you hook up two leads to the speaker. This is going to send a 60 hertz signal into the speaker at 11 volts, which would be about third power. You want your speaker, the suspension of your speaker, aiming up like this. Um, you don't want it sagging. You could mount it in the cabinet, okay, which would probably be the best way to go. You connect the speaker leads directly to the Variac, and you get a 60 hertz cycle like that. You can see it vibrating. What will that do? What that will do is very effectively loosen up that spider, loosen up the surround, the speaker surround all the way around. I will run it like this for probably eight hours straight. However, I do shut it off at about a four hour increment, let it cool down. Some people I know, there, let me uh, kill that. It can be rather loud. Some people will run them for an hour at a time, just like you're playing a set. Run it for an hour, give it a 15 minute break, run it for another hour, give it another 15 minute break so you don't heat the voice coil up. But I've yet to cook one, so I'll leave it like this. Usually set it on the ground, power it up, let it run cover it up with a uh, Tupperware container and let that spider break in and let the surround break in, especially if it's lightly doped. So you can do that to break in it. It does not break the cone in as, as quickly as, as it does the surround here and the spider. But there is a marked difference when you build a new amp and you don't get that loud volume and that play time. You, um, that you'd like to get that sound out of that speaker that will do it very effectively so if you do your formula the wattage rating of the speaker 50 watts take a third of that multiply it by the ohm rating of the speaker the result of that take the square root that'll give you your voltage reading as I say this one happened to be 11 and a half volts and you'll be right within that range so there you go from Dalmar's music and sound